tea. Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Cracker, and it is time for High Tea, the show where we discuss everything that has to do with anything that has to do with RuPaul's Drag Race UK. I have two incredible guests with me today. First of all, we have Zach Stafford, who is the editor-in-chief of The Advocate, which is a real person job. And then we also have Mary Cherry, who is a rising star drag queen from Brooklyn. A rising. fake job like mine, yeah. <laughs> the episode, let's talk about this. We all got to watch it together. I want to talk about the mini challenge today, an iconic mini challenge, the reading challenge. What did you think of uh, Blue Hydrangea? I felt like she kind of came out of her shell a little bit. I mean, Blue Hydrangea really gave me a lot because I did not expect her to be so vicious with it. And also right. to come for Mother Alyssa is kind of bold. You were not Alyssa. Yeah. So Alyssa may come for you, girl, in the DMs. So watch out. Yes! <laughs> I was a big fan of Vivian. The Vivian. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You can tell she's very quick. She had already thought about all those reads right. way beforehand. Yeah, those were clearly the front runners, and so, of course, uh, Crystal won. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would you I was <laughs> surprised by that. Yeah, I th we, we kind of all looked at each other like, oh. Yeah. Because I didn't even remember her jokes for a while, and then right. she won, I was like, for what? Yeah. What were you doing? Rue likes what she likes, mm -hmm. and you can never yeah. feel like you have it in the bag, because you can't predict. Um, what she's gonna love. The real challenge, of course, is boop, the main challenge. Can we eat the sandwiches? <laughs> Yo, absolutely. Okay, we just definitely check them. I'm just like, we're just looking at them, you know? Dig in. They're now, there. we just have to make sure to do everything cleanly for continuity, but you know, oh. whatever. Um, okay, so the challenge this week is going to involve producing individual original. You are living for this sandwich. <laughs> You're like, yeah, whatever, Cracker. <laughs> anyway, the challenge this week is the girl group. Yes. They have to make their own girl group and sing about busting apart and breaking up. Crystal won, so she got to pick two of her friends to make a group, and everyone else that's the leftovers, they make their own group. Mm -hmm. Now, the first group is Phil Harmony. We have Cheryl, Crystal, and Vivienne. What did you think of the way they were working together in the beginning? They seem like a good group. Yeah. Yeah, they seemed like they were getting it together, but mm -hmm. it seemed like they were relying too much on Vivian up front because yeah. she has so much talent. Yeah. So I don't think the other girls were really kind of bringing their all up front. Filth Harmony was filthy in their strategy. They were very open about saying, we want to intimidate the other team. Yeah. And Frock Destroyers is Blue, Davina, and Bag of Chips. I mean, it was smart, and it yeah. really did shake the other people. Right. But I mean, they pulled it together, and I think that pressure helped them come together as a group really well. So again, just like picking Viv, thinking she could carry everything, they were overplaying their cards a lot, which right. I think they stumped themselves with. But okay, the girls can't stay in the planning stage forever. They have to meet MNEK and make some hits. Let's begin with Filth Harmony. Viv did really good on the recording session. The other two could not sing, could not okay. do anything. They were giving us energy, you know, like uh, Cheryl was giving me like a lot of attitude and confidence right. in that, which I yeah. love, mm -hmm. but like none of them should sing ever again. <laughs> I think it's more about like how much you use that voice, your voice, you know, cause I'm not a singer, but I think I could actually record something one day. One day! Yeah, one day. Only one day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then after that, <laughs> stop immediately. But I think we're missing the point of the breakout star of that whole situation is M-N-E-K's two navy blue purple bun. The hair. Oh, living, yeah. honey. Yeah. Th that's look. drag. Yeah. <laughs> That's a drag I want to be a part of. So next up, we have Rock Destroyers. <laughs> yes. I have to say, Bag of Chips has surprised me. She worked this episode. She worked the um, live singing, and she was beautiful uh, on the main stage. And also, Davina, I love that she was hitting that Mariah note yeah. in a way that wasn't offensive. Yeah. Like, it happened, and even M.E.K. was like, oh, girl, come on, come through. What Davina is beginning to recognize is that you have to push yourself into the situation. Yes, it's a dance challenge, but you should tell the choreographer, hey, I can do a death drop, so I'm going to. Yes, it's just a singing challenge, but you know, force that little vocal trick that you have yeah. in there. Make sure that people see what you can do. She is not to be interrupted anymore, which was her goal. The girls brought up something that I did not know about at all. Uh, section 28, 
which is legislation that was pushed through in the 80s by Margaret Thatcher, essentially saying that no one was to promote homosexuality, um, but really it was just permission for everyone to spread hate towards uh, the LGBTQ community. Um, did you guys know about this before no. today? I knew, I, I guess it's my job to know this. I mean, you better. <laughs> this is a test, yeah. <laughs> so no. Yes, of course. Tell me, fill me in because I am well, what they call ignorant. So you know, a lot of countries have passed legislation over the past decades that said, you know, you can't talk about people like us in the classroom as a way to continue to be homophobic in public. So you yeah. know, if you let kids hear that we are like normal ass people, yeah. then they're gonna start being themselves and then that ruins everything and the patriarchy will fall apart. So it was really great for, I think, American audiences to see that the things that we're dealing with today Today are happening even in the UK because I think right. a lot of people think Europe is like it's so great it's so cute it's so yeah, wonderful yeah. but no they deal with shit too so it was really amazing to see the Queens talk about that. Davina said something that uh, really struck a chord in me these new kids nowadays just warm my heart because I think that we're looking at a world where people are not as isolated mm -hmm. and uh, people are more welcomed uh, into different groups and it makes me excited I can actually say that I'm excited to see what happens in the future, you know. Get the megaphone and spread the message. Yes. But enough of the kind words, everybody. It's time to read people to filth again, and it is time for the main stage performance. The girls are up with their pop groups, and we begin with Filth Harmony. Filth Harmony, more like <laughs> Harmony, okay? Oh, okay. Honey, I'm sorry, oh, wow. that was, it was shameful. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Get them together. I was not feeling it. I was like, once it started, I was like, work. And then within seconds, I was like. Who do you feel like was at the bottom of the barrel? And who do you feel was at the top of the barrel for this team? Mm. Crystal was at the bottom. Yeah, and Viv was right in the middle. Viv was in the middle. Expectation then... was here for Viv, then she dropped it. Yes, exactly. Right. And then Miss Thane. Cheryl was at the yes. top. She looked excited to be there, yeah. and she was feeling it, while Viv looked lost and yeah. dead. You know, whatever else you can say about Cheryl, she has been, like, bottom safe for a while, and yet she has never let it take the wind out of her sails. She is always full, oh, I'm mixing metaphors here. She never let it take the wind out of her sails. She's full steam ahead, the captain going down with the ship. Anyway, all of those metaphors, she's, she's going for it, and I, and I love that about her. Um, but let us get into this next group, everyone. Uh, Frock Destroyers. Yes. As soon as they stepped out, I was like, okay, so this is where the bar is now. Yep. Right? I mean, they were all coordinated. They, did they make those outfits? I, I no. don't know. They made the towels that they threw off at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they made the towels, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they looked great. Uh, I felt that they looked cohesive as a group, the way they were dressed, they looked like they were living. And honestly, if I were sitting in those director's chairs watching them, I would be shaken to the core. Because I, as a viewer, I was like, I don't know how they pulled that off yeah. overnight. Yeah, and they also had chemistry, which, you know, they were just thrown together really quickly, but they seemed to really understand each other on the stage. And the standout performance for Frock Destroyers definitely was when the other team watched oh. and finished with, <laughs> oh, they weren't bad. I'm like, girl. No. Yeah, they were they not. Weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about the runways, okay? The theme for this week is off to the races. First up, Davina. What did you guys think of this? Outfit. The I personally thought it was fantastic. The jockey fish outfit. Yes. I liked it. It yeah. looked good. It was like a, it was editorial and mm -hmm. fun, and it yeah. also matched the theme in ways others did not match the theme. Right. Someone that went all the way out is Crystal, who was doing like nine different Drag Race USA runways. She was doing Face Keeney. She was doing uh, Hats Incredible. She was doing uh, I don't know all of it. What did yeah. you think? I mean, it looked very Club Kid, which I liked, and the hat looked fun. It was giving me like Britney Spears' radar. Do you know what I mean? Okay, like the yeah, big yeah, old yeah. hat and that kind of moment. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. Kentucky Derby. Kind there was of something like... kind of spooky Corella Deville about it for me, though, where she kind of was like slinking around the runway. Uh, yeah, it definitely no. was a look, though. Yeah. That I appreciate it. She made choices. We had uh, Blue Hydrangea in this full like chess piece outfit. How do we feel? It was fun. I mean, 
it was very on the nose again with the horse. I guess, you know. Um, Buy a nose. What, Davina should have rode her in, maybe? That would have, or no, oh, she should have rode Davina in, right, or whatever, yeah, which yeah, way. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Davina would have rode her. Yeah, yeah. For there sure. we go. All right, so those are the runways, and whatever the judges thought, we had a historic moment, or an historic moment, as they would say in the UK. You're right. We had the frock destroyers literally sweeping the competition. Yes. Each one of them got their little badge of honor. And in the bottom two this week, we had Crystal, which we saw it coming, yeah. and then Vivian, which has, she's never been in the bottom in her life. Yeah. I think it's a good reality check for her. Yes. You know, I mean, the performance showed the reality check was needed. She came in too confident, and she stumbled, and she needed to be reminded that, like, you can fall, girl, yeah. and you may not be able to pull yourself back up. Yeah. But she was able to this time, but I think it's good for her. It's gonna be growth. Yeah, okay. for sure, I agree. The lip sync was yeah. power by a little mix. It was so good. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Um, I couldn't keep my, my eyes off of uh, the Vivian, actually. I was like on the edge of my seat because there have been a couple of surprises so far this season. So I was like, if Crystal shantays and stays right now, I am just gonna fall all the way out of my rolling chair. Yeah. Like, I, I couldn't. Um, yeah, but of course, Vivienne, she lived to fight another day. She did. Yeah. All right, scratch! It's time to take a brief break. We are gonna do my favorite segment of the show, the Queen's English. Now, the phrase for the week is taking the piss. Taking the piss out of someone. Like bull, bullshitting someone, right? No. You, you're accusing someone of giving you bullshitting you. Bullshit you. you. Yes. 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 That's right, right? Well, that's very close. I thought it was somehow Trump related, but it actually means just to mock somebody, to take ah, the piss out of them. I guess to like it. knock the wind out of them, you yeah. know what I mean? Which is what I've been trying to do to you. I know, bully. Time. Just because bully. you're right next to me. I, yeah. Who do you think is a forerunner for the crown? Who do you think is ready to take home the Hope Zirconia? After this episode, I'm gonna say Bag of Chips, the Vivian. What about uh, Davina DeCampo? Uh, She's gonna get somewhere. I agree too. I think it's gonna be bag of chips and Vivian really taking it home. Yeah. DDC will give them a run for the money. But right. I don't yeah. know if she will win. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, this has been really incredible. Okay, everybody, remember to tune in to Drag Race UK every Friday at 8, 7 central on Logo. I have had a wonderful time talking with you guys. Yes. But I want to hear from you, too. First of all, you have to watch High Tea with me every week. You can see it on Logotv.com or on Logo's YouTube. But also tweet at and towards me because I want to hear your opinions. You can tweet at Logo TV and remember to use the hashtag Drag Race UK. Until next time, this has been High Tea with Miss Cracker. Crump it if you're nasty. Cheerio! <laughs> <laughs>